Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will discuss solving real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of 2 to 3 given numbers. These are the steps in solving word problem. First step, understand. Second, plan. Third, solve. And fourth step is to check. Let us further discuss these four steps in solving word problem. Let us read and analyze the problem. Juvie and Judy are selling roses. Juvie's roses are bundled by 8, while Judy's roses are bundled by 6. What is the least number of roses does Justin need to buy from Juvie and Judy so that the same number of roses will be bought from each of them? So let's find the answer or solve this problem using the four-step rule. Okay, unang step, let us understand the problem. So ano ba yung kinukuha natin to understand the problem? So, we are looking for what is asked in the problem and what is or what are the given numbers. Okay, so, ang first step is to understand the problem. So, inahanap natin yung what is asked in the problem and what are the given numbers. So, what is asked in the problem? We are looking for the least number of process just in need to buy from Juby and Judy so that the same number of roses will be bought from each of them. So, saan ba nakikita itong uh, what is asked in the problem? Dito sa ating pinaka-end ng problem. Sunod naman, hanapin natin yung mga given sa problem. So, the given numbers are Juby, yung 8 roses per bundle, and Judy, a 6 process per bundle. So, ito yung mga given numbers na kailangan natin para ma-solve ang problem. The second step, we're going to plan. Plan on how to solve the problem and what is the method that we are going to use. Okay, so, second step, we're going to find the LCM using continuous division. Then, paano na sabing uh, LCM ang hinahanap natin? Because, sabi sa problem, what is the least number of roses na dapat bilhin ni Justin from Judy and Judy? So, yung clue doon is least number of roses. Then, the third step is, what is the solution to solve the problem? To solve the problem, we're going to use continuous division. So, last time, naituro na sa inyo kung paano yung sagawa ang continuous division. So, ang first step natin is to write the given numbers. Then, draw an inverted division. Then, sunod, think of a number na divisible ang 8 and 6. So, since they are even numbers, we can divide them by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then, continue the process. Kaya nga siya tinawag na continuous division. Pero ang 4 and 3, wala nang number na pwede i-divide sa kanila. Since we are looking for the least common multiple, di ba dapat ang ending ng kanyang quotient ay 1. So, i-divide muna natin siya by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 3 is not divisible by 4. So, bring down 3. Then, i-divide naman natin siya sa 3. Bring down 1. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, nag-end na tayo sa 1, 1. Then, the next step, we will multiply yung lahat ng naka-vertical na number. So, yung 2 times 4 times 3 to get the LCM. So, 2 times 4 is 8 times 3 is 24. So, the LCM is 24. So, for our last step is check. Uh, in checking, we're going to write our answer. So, dapat ang ating answer is complete and independent. Okay, so the answer to the problem is 
Justin needs to buy 24 roses each from Duty and Duty. So, kung napapansin nyo, kailangan kumpleto ang ating answer. Hindi pwede number lang ang ilalagay nyo. Kailangan complete. Ano ba yung 24 na nakuha nyo? Okay? So, let's try again another example. Another problem. So, read and analyze the problem. So, pinaka-importante na basahin muna natin at i-analyze ang, ang problem. So, the, the problem is, the traffic lights at three different road crossings change after every 48 seconds, 72 seconds, and 108 seconds respectively. If they all change simultaneously at 8.20 a.m., when will they again change simultaneously? Okay, so ang first step natin is to understand the problem. So, what is asked in the problem? So, we ans uh, we're looking for when will the traffic lights change again simultaneously? And the given numbers are 48 seconds, 72 seconds, and 108 seconds. Okay, second step is uh, find the GCF using continuous division. So, bakit GCF ang hinahanap natin? Kasi, ang sabi dyan, if they all change simultaneously at 8.20 a.m., kailan sila ulit magpapalit ng sabay-sabay? So, GCF ang ating hahanapin. Okay, so let us solve the problem using continuous division. So, let us write first the given numbers, 48, 72, and 108. Then, draw tayo ng inverted division. The next step, think of a number that we can divide to 48, 72, and 108. Since they are all given numbers, we can divide them by 2. 48 divided by 2 is 24. 72 divided by 2 is 36. And 108 divided by 2 is 54. Again, given number ulit sila dahil sila yung natatapos sa 4 and 6. So, divide natin by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 is 18. And 54 divided by 2 is 27. Okay, so look at the numbers. Isip kayo nang pwede natin i-divide sa 12, 18, and 27. So, they are, they are all multiples of 3. So, divide them by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 18 divided by 3 is 6. 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay, so since GCF ang ating hinahanap, mag i na tayo ng process or ng pag divide So, multiply naman natin lahat ng naka-vertical na numbers to find the GCF. So, 2 times 2 times 3 is equal to 12. So, the answer is 12. Step check. So, write your answer completely. The traffic lights will change again simultaneously at 8:20, 12 a.m. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video, and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.